Well, I feel very fortunate to be speaking with Gary Landine, who has a really colorful motorcycling past and who's displaying a motorcycle here with really some exceptional history. Tell us about this Indian you're standing in front of. Well, it's a 1939 Indian Big Base Scout. They didn't call it a Big Base at that time because it was a cheater engine. They only made six of them. Three of them came to the West Coast. Ed Kretz, Ted Evans, and Jimmy Phillips got those three bikes. Now, I know the name Ed Kretz. He's an incredibly huge name in motorcycling in America. Tell us who Ed Kretz is. Ed Kretz is called Iron Man Kretz. He started racing in the 30s, and he was one of the most dominant racers probably in history. They used to say when Ed Kretz showed up, who was going to be second. You found this motorcycle and purchased it in a very interesting way, didn't you? Tell us about that. I went into a casino hotel in Deadwood, South Dakota. I saw that bike. I didn't know any history on it. I asked them, would you guys be interested in selling that bike? What did they say to you? They said, uh, yeah, we were thinking that maybe a, a slot machine would make more money than that bike in that spot. So they sold it to me, and I went out the next day and I picked it up and brought it home. So how did you find out this incredible history this motorcycle had? I took it to Davenport, Iowa to race in the uh, vintage racing. I qualified for the finals, and I got in the finals, we're on the starting line, and everybody takes off, and I'm sitting there, and I go, putt, putt, putt. I blew a head gasket. So I tore it down, it had Harley KR rods drilled, polished, incredible in there, and I knew somebody important owned it. So I'm driving up and down the roads, and a guy named Kelly George, who his brother sponsors the races at Davenport, he says, I know that bike. I says, uh, what do you know about it? He says, Shell Tewitt had that bike. I says, is that good? He says, oh yeah, that's good. There's a 1955 race program with Shell on it and the bike right can I, there. Can I, let me pick that up. So is this what you're talking about? This is the bike. This is the actual motorcycle you brought here today? Yes. Then I said, he says, Don Hawley raced it. I says, is that good? He says, oh yeah, that's good. Have you raced various types of competition? I, I have. I did a hill climb with a 441 Victor in 1967. Uh, Never asked anybody about how I was going to get down the hill. I was just going up. <laughs> Didn't make it. And the guys helped get me set up. And I says, how do I get down? They says, you ride it down. What was that like? It scared the hell out of me. My eyeballs are this big. <laughs> and uh, I'm hitting the brakes. And I'm trying. I'm sliding and all this stuff. I got to the bottom. This buddy of mine says, no, you ride it down. You pretend you're on the flat and you just go. What is it about motorcycles? Once they get into your blood, they're in it forever. Absolutely. I'm, I'm 64, and I'm hoping I can make it to into my 80s. Marty Dickerson, I was with Marty at Bonneville in uh, 2007 when he broke, broke his record on a Vincent, and that got my bug going for these Bonneville machines, so I'm building three of them. Well, Gary, thanks so much for talking to us today. It's really been a pleasure.